So when Reverend Jay asked me to speak on Mother's Day about being a mother, I was really honored. Um, you know, it's such a wonderful, sacred experience. And, um, you know, I jotted down a few notes about what I wanted to say and, um, you know, kind of set it aside. And I thought, well, when I, when I get back to Napa, I was in Florida at the time visiting with my own mother and, um, and kind of enjoying a peaceful break from my busy, crazy, chaotic life um, of taking care of everyone and everything. And, uh, you know, kind of in this very relaxed state. I wasn't even watching the news. I was just completely away from everything, which was a wonderful break. But when I came back from that break, and I did turn on the news, um, I did see what was happening in the courts. And it was such a challenge for me to reconcile what I saw, you know, that women's rights were being taken away, the right that, that I had to choose to be a mother, and saw that, you know, the difficulty there, it was, it was, it was a little disconcerting. So I had a really hard time pulling together these really clever anecdotes and cute stories that I had, although I do have a couple of those. Um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, it was this idea that, you know, motherhood is a choice. You know, it's not something that should be forced upon someone that, sh you know, someone who, you know, we all struggle with the day to day issues of being a mother. But, you know, the thought that that I actually wouldn't have the power to choose that for myself is is very uh, disconcerting. And, um, you know, it I don't want to talk about politics. I just want to talk about personal experience. Um, I want to talk about my own journey to the path of motherhood because there were a lot of twists and turns. Um, you know, walking the spiritual path of a, as a mother, um, you know, you you give up so much of yourself, you know, you and you don't really know, you know, before you before you do it, you just really don't know what, you know, pieces of yourself, your heart, <laughs> you know, the things that you will lose, the things that you will willingly give up, but you still lose yourself in this process. You allow this person to come through you and out into the world, and then you're responsible for that person. You know, you don't just get to walk away from it. You, you are connected to it. And, um, you know, my, I have my beautiful daughter, Kaylee, is 31 weeks pregnant right now. And I know the joy of being a grandmother is just like, I can't even explain how excited I am. She sent me a picture when I was in Florida. Um, oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and you know, it was a 3D or 4D picture of this baby, this literal baby that had a face and a, you know, and a life. And I was just like, I, I first thing I said to my mom was, it looks just like you, mom. <laughs> She wasn't really thrilled about that. <laughs> she said, do you mean all wrinkly? And I said, no. <laughs> but, you know, my mother and I haven't always had the most easy relationship. But, you know, as she's gotten older and I've gotten older, we have come together. And, you know, there's been a lot of forgiveness. There's been a lot of, you know, our journey together was, was uh, really challenging at times. You know, she... You know, I was born in 1965, um, you know, the sexual revolution, there was a lot going on. But I grew up believing that women had the power to choose, that women were equal, because it, it, that's all anybody ever talked about was how equal we were. But all I ever saw was my mother taking on all of the responsibility, doing everything. My father kind of just chose to hang out and be groovy and my mom had to you know get up on the roof and put the roof on and um you know do the things that needed to get done around the house and and uh when my parents split up when i was nine years old you know my mom went to san francisco and started working because that's where she could make enough money to support two children you know so it was like to me being a mom looked really really hard and that was something that i just didn't want to do uh, believe it or not, I was certain that I was never going to have children. You know, like there were no white picket fences in my future. I was uh, working at Meadowood. I was uh, 
making good money and really enjoying my life and had decided that winter that I was going to follow some of the people that I worked with to the Virgin Islands to work in the winter because back then in St. Helena, they literally rolled up the sidewalks during the winter. I mean, there was like nothing going on and they would close down, you know, and so I was prepared to go on an adventure, you know, have a journey, be go out and see the world, you know, having children was the very last thing on my mind. And, um, you know, fortunately, I live in a state where they educate children so that they know what to do. So I knew what to do to not become a mother. But that summer, I got a really horrible case of poison oak. And it just kept traveling down my body. And I went to the doctor and the doctor put me on steroids. But he forgot to tell me that the steroids counteracted the effects of the birth control pill. <laughs> so imagine my surprise <laughs> at 21, you know, living this fabulous lifestyle and I was pregnant. And I thought for sure that I knew exactly what I was going to do. But inside of me, this voice just said, you want this baby. I was like, what? <laughs> Where's that coming from? No, 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 no. I, I don't want this. No. And it was so clear. It was so, you know, this, this, this desire, this thing inside me. And I knew that I was going to do this. I was single. I was young. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I was going to have a baby. And, um, you know, I was, her father didn't really want to marry me, but we kind of stayed together. But after, at nine months, he was gone, and I was a single parent. And, um, and it was hard. I wish I could, you know, share all those cute stories about how great it was, but it was hard. It was hard to be a single parent, you know. Um, but I knew that I was doing the right thing for me. That's kind of the point that I'm getting to is it was right for me to do this. But I couldn't even imagine making that choice for anybody else. You know, I just couldn't imagine that my little granddaughter is going to grow up in a world where she might have to make a choice that is not her choice. You know, so again, I keep coming back to this idea that motherhood is a choice. And, you know, we don't get to choose our children and we don't get to choose our situation, our circumstances, but we do get to choose love. You know, we do get to choose this energy, this and, and embrace it. You know, um, like I said, my, my own mother and I had a lot of things to come through and and raising my child, raising my children, <laughs> because my beautiful son is here in the audience today. I was. Yeah, Harrison. He's he is. This is my baby right here. <laughs> this is my baby, Harrison. And um, you know, I have three children. Rev and Jay and I were joking about motherhood. You know, I said, if people remembered how painful it was to give birth, they would not do it again. And here, I forgot twice. You know, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot how hard it was. How hard it really is. Uh, to give birth, right? It was hard and it is hard, you know, but you know, but there's so much joy and there's so much love and it's such a special thing to be able to, like I said, bring this life through you and out into the world. And the idea that, that I did it as my choice, you know, it was hard, but I chose this. I said yes to this and I just really want everyone to be able to have that choice. I may not agree with their decision. I may not agree with anybody's decision to do anything, but I totally support your right to make that choice. And um, just thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> and I'm super, like I said, I'm super excited to be spending the afternoon with my baby um, and soon to be with my granddaughter, you know, it. it Mother's Day is is a wonderful thing, and I'm so glad to be here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Isn't it how interesting how there were always babies, right?